here we are on Brigham Young University campus, and we're going to just tell you a little bit about the uh, story and song from around the world. So, starting off, um, I think the our beginning here is that fundamentally everyone is storytellers. Everyone wants to talk about something. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to explain what to engage with the explanation and to sometimes find those explanations that you can't find, they just make up a story. Mm -hmm. Especially uh, we found concerning uh, creation. And there's often similarities between creation stories and mm -hmm. as well as um, the Arcadia. Um, they were created through a guy who was put on the water to a different civilization. Yeah, well, water. Yeah, water is definitely a big thing that we can all tell. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, awesome. Well, <laughs> water is a big thing between different cultures, especially in your origins. Like, even not in your origins, like mine. I have Samaria, and I found the story of Christ meeting a Samaritan woman at the well, and he said. If she followed him, then he would give her living water, and that sort of that sort of ties in with your guys' cultures because, like, some of your gods had a goddess named Tin Pao in the water. Yeah, I mean that's true. The wa uh, the water area was kind of a place of new beginning. Mm -hmm. kind of like, didn't didn't your culture um, found their city near a river? Yeah, yeah. Um, Romulus and Remus. That's where they were. Found or they were thrown into the river by their. Um, it's like bad chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's um, what Brittany's for this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were thrown into the river, and that's where they came back to found the river or the city of Rome. Yeah. And how in the Navajo origin myth, um, the water god. Um, his uh, grandson was one of the ones that you know, first created the man, mm -hmm. or a man as we know him today. Or something like that. As, I, as I was thinking about um, your story, Emma, I was thinking of um, how Moses was thrown into the river and how that sort of it didn't really start the um, you know the culture of the Jews, but it sort of gave them the new culture, like you know yeah. they sort of started following the Mosaic law. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. That happened. Yeah, that happened. Also, they crossed the Red Sea. And that was like when they left one culture and began another. Yeah. So, water is sort of like rebirth. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of tied two different cultures happened uh, between the Greeks and um, the Romans, too, when they started to accept many Greek gods. Yeah. Renaming them. Yeah. And in Arcadia they took over Samaria. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Not Samaria. <laughs> they yeah. took over them and to make the civilization make make it so that Samaria wouldn't um, revolt as much, they created new stories and new hymns for everybody to learn for their new religion. So that everybody would be connected to those forbidden stories. And it made it so that um, Sargon, the first leader, Sargon, the first leader, um, he still had a lot to deal with, but he never lost Samaria just because of him. Yeah, it seems like it stories and songs can really tie cultures together, or like, for the most part, like the Samaritans and the Jews didn't get along. And one of their main things that they disagreed with was that they had different books of scripture, and that's one of the things that made them clash. I think, well, we're sort of, sort of talking about that today in class, um, mm -hmm. when we talk, let's see, what did we say today? Well, we were just sort of talking about, oh, we read this passage and how, yeah. um, like, song is like a huge part of that and bringing everyone together to talk about something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the oral tradition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody loves to listen to a good story. 
and even it can even bring like not even the whole culture, but like families together. Yeah. Yeah, talking about like family stories. But I think that's like so much fun. Um, yeah. Like when our family gets together, we share some like yeah. stories from childhood. Yeah. And I know people, especially in in our culture, who who their their testimony is of song, and that's what they spiritually connect to. Even even if they have a hard time with church, they are connected to the song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, that's all we have time for. <laughs> See you all later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>